Hey YouTube, this is Southern Pepper One. All right, last video we talked about setting up a medical uh, clinic for your retreat, for your property, uh, and that needs to be set up now, uh, just in case you get a serious injury, or it needs to be established uh, for a RAL event or SHTF or an event where you can't get a patient to the hospital and you are their only hope. How are we gonna get the injured person, the sick person from wherever he is to your clinic? Or how are we gonna get the sick person to the hospital? A lot of people see more movies where we just drag people around, they get shot, uh, where we throw them over our back. This is not good for the patient. Uh, there's a lot of injuries I've seen in real combat that you would not wanna to do to a patient because um, it could prove to be fatal. Yes, you need to remove that person from the threat. Uh, whatever it is, remove them as quickly and as safely as you can. Um, but having some equipment will really help. Let's imagine in a raw situation, your neighbor hollers at you and says that, hey, my husband just got hurt, a tree fell on him, broke his leg, and he's about 400 yards into the woods. Can you help us? If it's a serious wound, from a compound fracture, you wouldn't want to carry this man in an improvised means. It will cause him a lot of pain. It will make his injury worse. So you need some way to carry him. The goal on this video is to get you to think right now and to get whatever it is. I don't care if your budget is zero or your budget is $500. You need a solution today on how am I gonna move a person from point A to point B safely without causing more damage to his injury a lot of means to do it let's people out in california are always ready for that big earthquake remember if you have a lot of people you got to move and it's overwhelmed your emergency services interior doors take the interior door off it takes a hammer and a screwdriver take it off and, and you have an instant stretcher it's not the best but you can definitely five or six people can definitely carry a door uh, with a person injured on it. I like the door because it sort of gives him some stability for his spine. Uh, not enough, but I'm talking a mass casualty, worst case event, just trying to save as many lives as possible. So your interior doors can definitely work. A table, one of the folding white tables, don't fold the legs down, but you can place them on that. So you can improvise, but the point is we're preppers, we're thinking ahead. We're trying to get the best plan. So now is the time to think, not at the you know, situation occurs and, oh, what am I gonna use, what am I gonna use? Seconds count when it comes to a medical injury. So I'm gonna show you some solutions. Uh, the first one I'm gonna show you is a backboard. I, I think it's that important, I purchased one. Um, good head restraint, uh, C-collar is a must. But if you don't have a C collar, this helps a lot to stabilize that spine, stabilize that neck, because uh, we don't want to cause any further injury uh, if there's some type of neck or back injury. So this is a plastic uh, backboard. You need to get straps. I have the spider straps. I have them in the cabinet. They're excellent. Or you can just use the standard ones. They sort of look like seat belts, and they, they clip across. You could go in with a couple buddies and get you, borrow one of these if you can, and get you a sheet of uh, three quarter inch furniture grade plywood, and you can make a couple. If you have a router, a drill bit, uh, a skill saw, circular saw, whatever, something. Uh, a jigsaw would work good for this, or a router. So, but if you got a guy that's into woodworking, you could probably knock out a couple of these from a piece of furniture grade plywood, three quarter inch, inch thick, good stuff. Uh, nowadays, it's going to cost you more with the price of uh, lumber going up. But this is the best because you can stabilize that back um, and it gives the best protection. You can strap the patient in. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. Um, but you have to be careful with different types of injuries. Probably the best one is one of the military issued ones, um, the, the fiber type material. They have the canvas, but the canvas seems to, uh, they don't, I don't think they make them anymore, so they're already old and getting a little bit dry rotted. I wanted to show you this one. This is my worst one with a hole. This material um, is, is designed so it doesn't really spread the canvas ones that when I first got in, uh, they had the canvas ones. And when they get a rip in them, all of a sudden that rip just, they're junk. 
these ones I, I have full faith in this so if, if you have to buy a used one and you can't find it, it has little holes in it it's okay um, try, to, try to not to find one with a hole but it's going to be hard on the surplus market to find a mint condition one of these um, you can the handles on these things are sort of cool I don't know if you can see that you see that button here the black part comes in and out so for storage you can put it in and then if you need it just pull that black handle out to give you a handle those are generally the best um, they're not as compact as the other ones I'm going to show you but for all around use um, those are the ones I have three of those and I feel very confident in those um, because they're easy to set up and anyone can use it one very similar to this um, is a folding one it fits in this and you can carry it on your back they're a lot they're very expensive um, I bought this surplus and then I think Blackhawk was selling their bags uh, at discontinued price for like 20 bucks and I jumped on those I actually bought a bunch of those and I knew guys that had these preppers so these bags are nice so basically this will fold out into that but the problem with these these are a pain to unfold if I gave this to my wife under a stressful condition right now I don't think she could open it up in a timely manner it is confusing and is physically hard especially if you buy a surplus one physically hard so this is cool if you need to save space but make sure you WD-40 everything and get it where anyone can open this up this is very easy to open up basically just push on that you can do it with your foot that is a pinch point so use your foot when you open and close that if you can so you don't pinch yourself that can deploy in about three seconds this one if you don't know what you're doing you might not get it deployed for five minutes so be careful with those this is a uh, one from Blackhawk um, I did not buy this but an individual gave it to me it was not the company that gave it to me um, this one is the one I carry if, if I go in the woods and, and weight is an issue it's not a full litter uh, but you definitely can transport someone you would never want to transport someone with a back or neck injury with this um, but if somebody had a broken leg or something very easy that is not going to cause them any problems and you got to get them out of the woods something small like this is very good because you can carry it this is a, a US Army one this is very similar to that but this is actually a full-size one um, they're not as good I, I will tell you this compared to that it is driving a Ferrari and a Pinto Ford Pinto but this can be folded up and put in someone's rucksack this is a German one and I like it better than the American one it's it seems to be uh, easier f to carry you have these nice handles with some type of uh, material inside so you can get a good grip that's a German one I bought that surplus probably 20 years ago I don't know if they still have them um, but that is an excellent one if you need to carry it into the woods you can use a heavy-duty wooden chair um, let's let the guy sit in it and two people can easily carry it um, the point is not to have to improvise the point is to have something know it works and be able to move a patient because if you had to move your neighbor 400 yards down to your retreat or your house uh, to, to try to give him aid you wouldn't want just to carry him or drag him you could use a blanket but that's not the way to do it you need a litter um, some way to properly carry him so I give you some options here today your task think about how am I going to move pe people safely without causing more damage to their injury thanks for watching